My name is Helene Janan. It's your boy Chris. Hi everyone. Stefan Molyneux. Hi everyone. My name is Derek. My name is John. Jameson Brady. It's Nate. Lucas. It's John Dennis. I'm Ricky. Willie Will. My name is Trace Tanet. Hey, I'm Max. Hey. My name is Patrick Philpott. I'm Hans Lewis Grimpere. Alexandra. I'm Jamie. Hi, Tom. My name is Brittany. Jeff Moon. I'm Jim Cat. Hi, I'm Dave. My name is Adam. Nancy Joy. My name is Justin Wood. I'm Alex Royal. Eric Knowles. John Jones. Tara Woodruff. Julie. Scott Nancy. I'm Alexa. I'm Shelby. My name's John McCabe. College Station, Texas. Boston, New York. Bloomington, Indiana. South Carolina. Whether it's black, white, Asian, Puerto Rican, Mexican. I'm from Spain. I'm from Seattle, Washington. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm here in Korea. And I'm from Houston, Texas. New Hampshire. From San Diego. The University of New Hampshire. In Philly, went to the Philly. From all across the country. From the Midwest, the South. New Jersey. Here in Oslo, Norway. Washington, D.C. area. California. Seattle. From Georgia. Arkansas. From small New York. The movement in Canada. Gordon, Georgia. San Francisco. In Costa Rica, actually. Boston, Massachusetts. South Carolina. It doesn't matter if you're Democrat or Republican. Whether you're white, black, Asian, Mexican, rich, poor, Democratic, liberal, conservative, Republican, people are fed up. And it's time for a change. Ron Paul is the perfect person to lead that change. Because he's a man of principle. And he always sticks to policy. And that he has never voted to raise his own congressional income. The man has integrity and he'll bring the actual change that we can believe in. Look at his voting record. Look at the integrity with which he holds himself. The champion of the U.S. Constitution. And genuine and um, hardworking. He will bring the troops home. His idea is so powerful and motivating. Ron Paul has a message of freedom, liberty, self-sufficiency, responsibility. He hasn't voted for the Patriot Act. The thing is that Dr. Paul's voting record is pristine. Ron Paul's the only guy who hasn't flip-flopped on every issue in the last 30 years. He never votes against the Constitution. He's like an inspirational figure. One who has non-stop talked about how the Federal Reserve has hurt our economy. And he's been trying to say the same things for 30 years. Nobody was listening. Um, he's actually somebody who does stand out and speaks his own message. And he's not just another candidate with a phony budget plan. Then, um, Ron Paul makes me Kinda proud to be an American again and because he believes like our forefathers did. Ron Paul wants to reduce the size and scope of government and let government protect our liberty and protect us as a people. Well, tell the truth about the war on drugs. I believe the guy is telling the truth. Whether you agree with him or not, he's telling you the truth. He's saying what he believes is true. He's more than electable, he's necessary. He wants us out of the wars. He wants us to be a more sovereign nation. He wants us to be more financially responsible. But more importantly, he wants to uproot and change the system. Ron Paul keeps getting snubbed in the media because the corporations, uh, the capitalistic apps, don't want a guy like Ron Paul to be president because of the things that Ron Paul stands for. Don't you get it? I mean, the media doesn't want to talk about Ron Paul. Democrats and Republicans both want you to believe this guy is not a viable candidate. Why? Because Ron Paul's the only person who's going to look out for you. All these other candidates are looking out for themselves and their freaking party. They're just frankly not discussing him on the mainstream media. So. Great lack of mention of, of any sort of Ron Paul in a serious sense. The media has not been a very good supporter of Ron Paul. I don't get it. Why wouldn't you want peace? we got to fight back and show that we can actually take these things. The second that we think that there's no way we can win, or there's no way that that we're going to get support from the media, and there's no way people are going to listen, and, and all of these ideas, the minute we think those is the minute we've already lost. People will have to 
from time to time get up and stand up for themselves. Angry enough, fed up enough, tired enough, frustrated enough to stand up and demand that their voices be heard and frankly that all voices be heard. Yeah. Take action. Stand up. Decide that you've had enough. I've had enough. If we don't do anything, nothing will happen. Don't be afraid. Take a stand. Believe in the truth. I never thought I would see in my lifetime this phenomenon, the Ron Paul revolution. It's been amazing. Do you support Ron Paul? Why wouldn't I support Ron Paul? It's amazing, dog. Ron Paul got 81%. He was polling at 81%. I was searching on YouTube and I found this guy, you know, Ron Paul. I'm a, I'm a Ron Paul supporter. Support Ron Paul. Ron Paul is an exciting candidate. Uh, I just want to talk about Ron Paul. And For Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. <laughs> Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Everybody needs to vote for Ron Paul for president. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. And Ron Paul. And once I saw Ron Paul in my school, I started to really rethink my, my political beliefs. The original song about Ron Paul. And Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. My name is Rachel, and I'm a junkie. A Ron Paul junkie. Ron Paul. A Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Make it happen. Dr. Paul. Dr. Ron Paul. Uh, talking about Ron Paul. Ron Paul is the first and only politician that I can say I've ever been excited about. Hey, because nobody matches Ron Paul. You tell me what you don't like about constitutional government, free market, sound money, individual liberties, and a constitutional foreign policy. This year, something different is happening. There's a man running who votes according to his principles. Imagine an America where the President of the United States actually upheld his oath to protect and defend the Constitution and preserve our liberties. Well, the Constitution is vitally important because it means that governments have to obey laws just like people have to obey laws. Getting back to the Constitution. I think that the Constitution was divinely inspired and uh, Ron Paul is the first man had the courage to stand up and fight for it. And he's looking at the issues that everyone else is and he's trying to address them and trying to make change, you know, trying to get people to open their eyes and see what's really going on. Because America's fed up, uh, we're sick of big government, we're sick of too much spending, we're sick of uh, spending more uh, to try to solve a problem that was caused by too much spending. He is the only peace candidate that is actually for ending these wars. You can feel it when he speaks that he's the most serious and he will do something about it. I thought these wars showed that we weren't weak. For some reason, I thought that bombing a bunch of countries showed just how strong we were. 700 bases in 140 countries all over the world. You know, I think we're bombing Somalia, Yemen, Pakistan, Libya. Uh, we're still in Iraq, we're still in Afghanistan. I had never heard of the concept of blowback. I never for a minute thought that maybe, just maybe, all foreign policy, which has killed thousands and thousands of innocent civilians over the years, might just motivate people to attack us. All for nothing. Based on lies, based on deceit, based on greed. What I found interesting listening to all the speeches, there's, there was a whole lot of finger pointing, of course, there were Republicans, a whole lot of finger pointing at Obama. Not once did Ron Paul point the finger at any individual. And he doesn't really endorse attacking any individuals. All he wants is America to be the land of the free again. And I will tell you, the response to Ron Paul was overwhelming. Overwhelming. An enormous wave of action and energy. A lot of people are saying, well, you know, he's not electable, or he's too old, or his ideas are too radical. If that's how people want to think, then you're denying yourselves an opportunity to experience liberty in your lifetime. <laughs>